can be a ridiculous night of football, but yet again, you've saved the day with a couple of penalties. You'll tell me you're just doing your job, won't you? Yeah, that's what I'm paid to do. Simple as that. It's um, fortunately a bit of luck with one that hit my toe. Went out ridiculously. When you looks in, you looks in. And then uh, thankfully guessed right for the, the third one. So the most important thing was to get through, win the game. Always going to be a banana skin. Always difficult, these ties. Um, we spoke after the, the first game. Great credit to Coventry, I think, over two games. Oh, they'll find themselves, well, they'll feel, you know, hard done by. But um, great character by the lads. A lot of um, boys dead on the feet towards the end. But find a way to win. And I think that's, um, we did it Saturday. Wasn't great Saturday. Played against a really good Nottingham Forest side and found a way to win. Played against a well-organised side that's going really well in their division in Coventry tonight and um, we dug in, wasn't pretty but ultimately found a way to, to get the job done It's um, which is a good night all right. Mm. How much homework did you do on those players when I mean, you don't know who the five kickers are, does it have to be a pretty quick turnaround? Um, no we've done the homework, we've done the homework, always the same, um, we've got all clips and bits and pieces we do, we, we have a chat about things, um, I won't give away too many secrets <laughs> but we did have a little bit of a, an idea what was going on. Um, I'll say thanks to the ball boy for helping me out behind the goal. But um, yeah, we, we did a research and um, but ultimately, as I've said before, it all comes down really to what the penalty taker fancies at the time. You, you can look at patterns and body language, but he knows what he's going to do. So there's a bit of guesswork, but thankfully it's paid off. Do you always back yourself with those penalties because it's four penalty saves from the last five penalty kicks you face now? Yeah, and probably dived the wrong way on about the five before that. <laughs> so no, it swings around about sometimes you... Um, like I say, you get a bit of luck. I'd, I'd studied Paddy McNair, as I said, and obviously Lewis Grubbins on Saturday. And again, I knew him, I played with him, so you have an idea. But tonight, you guess right, hope for the best. And um, thankfully, it's it's paid off. How many problems did Coventry City cause us tonight? Caused us a few problems. I thought they passed the ball well and, and, and kept the ball for periods, but without really hurting us. And then I think the goals we conceded were probably down to our own. I've not seen them back or had a look, but probably come down to our own misdoing more than anything. Um, but I thought, chances, I thought we probably had better chances in all fairness. I thought when Juki come on, I thought we looked more of a threat. I thought Bella was excellent when he come on. And um, probably a little bit fortunate Bella's goal, but again, I, I can only say it's about character and the strength in, in the boys' minds to keep going and keep going, even right into the end of injury time in extra time it's a great credit to them talk about momentum and catalysts in games you provided one at the weekend but when you put 120 minutes into an encounter you want to be on the winning end then don't you yeah you do I do and I think I mean we scored last minute of, of normal play and last minute of injury time and I think um, again like I say it shows you the character on the side but the momentum is that you keep going and you keep going and um, to come out on the wrong side of this tonight would have been tough but after um <laughs> <laughs> Christian Pedersen giving you some there <laughs> but no um, momentum's key and I think that is it seven now yep. games with, without losing or whatever it is but we know we've got a real tough game now on, on Friday night down at Bristol against a, a top side in the division quick turnaround um, but the boys are professional and will prepare right and be ready for Friday night <laughs> Finally from me, just a word on the young players out there tonight. Jack Kincannon making his senior debut. So too, Caelan boyd Munts as well. We've shown real promise in the 23s and great to see them get an opportunity at first team level. Yeah, it's refreshing. It's refreshing. I think the club want to want to push the players through and if they're good enough, I think it's shown that they'll they'll get the opportunity and um, they've trained with us. I think both of them um, give great accounts themselves tonight. Never easy. Never easy making your debut, especially in the FA Cup and replay and, and all the things that go around with it. But no, I thought they both handled themselves was incredibly well, great maturity and um, it's up to them now to, to keep working hard and behave correctly and, and, and keep pushing to be involved with the first team.